one day away from the release of Reventuli Coast, and I am pretty excited to see everybody's reaction to this map. It really is that good, and uh, I kind of figured we might as well go for one last Reventuli Coast hunt. I've been considering looking at other maps, but honestly, one approach I try to take with this stuff is that we know there's not going to be another map for, give or take, six months. So we might as well take it slow and enjoy the newest map for now. They should make a small game map like Squirrels. Well, I will say, um, lots of small game on this map, even if you're more so looking at Waterfowl and stuff like that as small game. But maybe? I mean, a map more or less focused on Waterfowl. Maybe we get a map more or less focused on small game. Try to behave today, please. Listen, dad ass nicely. Does it come out on PS4? Yes, all platforms tomorrow. Um, I don't want to give like a time because I always feel like if I say what time I expect it to come out and then I'm wrong, that everybody's going to be like, well, Flanter said. <laughs> so uh, you might be able to expect like early morning-ish Eastern time, but that that's as specific as I'll get. I don't know what time it's going to come out. I'm looking at past trends. Um, but yeah, if it happens to be different, I, I don't want to be responsible for everybody expecting it at a certain time, so that's what I shall say. How dare you be wrong? Exactly, right? What's up, mistress? Uh, Jared Rogers with the 28 months, by the way. Holy indeed. Welcome back, man. I certainly appreciate you. I hope the alerts are going to work today. They were being weird for us last time. I know those never pop up. Uh, if they end up being wonky, we'll fix that. Map comes out at 12 o'clock world time. Yes, it will be 12 o'clock regardless of what the clock says. Just just remember 12. Where bird? It sounded it sound like it was going this way. It did go this way. How dare you? Sneak by me like that. Non-typical nation, thank you for the super chat. I guess that's confirmation. I gotta fix the alerts. Best way to grind lions on Rohunga. How the heck was that grounded? Alright, I guess it was about to land. Um, the best way generally is just to hunt their drink time. I am not sure if their drink time has changed with this update. I guess that remains to be seen. Uh, in the meantime here, I need to get the alerts working. Assuming that their drink time has not changed, or at least as the game is now until the update comes out tomorrow, 12 to 1500 is their drink time. And basically every lake on Verhunga has the uh, lions. I'm not even sure if there's one that I would entirely rule out right now. So yeah. Basically jump around to every single lake, shoot your lions, and you should be good to go. Speaking of good to go, I think the alerts are up and working now. Hopefully that'll be the case. I do not know what the new great one is. No, I do not. No one's found it, which I think is good. Um, we'll see how long it takes the greater community at large to, to find the new great one, but that'll be exciting as well. That's another thing that has yet to uh, be discovered. What's your favorite map? Please tell me I need the money in game. Uh, well, my favorite map to hunt is Leighton Lakes. Uh, I will say Revan Tuli is rising that list as of now, but I never like to rank a new map uh, at all, really, until I've spent, say, a month on it, really get to kind of get a good feel for it. But um, Leighton's my favorite map to hunt. If you want cash, Probably Hirschfeld and Geese. I might say Reventuli will be better. That's going to depend. But as of now, again, before the update, before anything happens, if you were to go out and play the game right now, I would say Canada Geese on Hirschfeld is the best. Proud of you, Kyla, for stopping the energy drinks. Takes a lot. So about 1 a.m. Eastern, uh, uh, what, for the new, for Revan Tuli? I would expect early, or uh, sorry, later than that, but you never know. Usually, uh, I'll tell you what happens. I wake up early, usually on release days, so say, I mean, not early, early, 6 or 7 a.m., something like that, and I'll usually post some kind of guide video. I've got a waterfowl setup guide ready to go for tomorrow, so whenever I wake up, it seems like it doesn't matter. I wake up early and the map's already out, so I guess we'll have to have to see, but I wouldn't expect like 1 a.m. or anything crazy like that. Do you think we need a new large lodge? I kind of do. Um, I'm looking at the multi-mounts and the new species with Revan Tuli Coast. 
I think I'm gonna have a hard time working everything into one lodge. I know not everybody does the same thing I do, but I just like to have one lodge for like my absolute best trophies. And as we get more and more maps, are we at 12 now? I think we are. Three, six, 12, yeah. You know, at some point, if, if the devs desire for us to be able to do that and have one lodge of like all of our personal best and all that, we're gonna have to have another lodge. There's just gonna be too many animals in the game. Good problem to have, no doubt. But yeah, I am of the opinion that it's getting close to time that, that we need a new lodge. That or we're just gonna have to separate. I've been considering doing like a a main, well, sort of a main trophies lodge in Saseka Safari and then another lodge for other trophies in Spring Creek Manor. Kind of like what we have with the second lodge, but a little bit of a, a different idea. That's a pretty big one. Now it is a tarm again, so that does require an air shoes. That'll work. Just spam it. Day's going good, Mason. It's been a pretty busy slash productive day. By the way, maybe a big announcement. Uh, my new PC is here. I am not streaming from my new PC. It got here, what, less than two hours ago, I think? So all the setup that would have been required, I wouldn't have got that done. But I should have it all set up tonight. I'm unsure yet what the goal tomorrow is going to be, stream or uh, video or what, but uh, yeah, hopefully by tomorrow things are up and running and I can stop stealing poor Kyla's PC. Will there be a new map tomorrow? Yes. Remington Coast is coming out on all platforms tomorrow. Fresh-ish tracks maybe? There we go. Level 5, not even all that special. One day. I feel like I haven't even shot a gold one of these on stream. I've had a couple, you know, here and there, usually when I'm not recording. What time is it over in the States? Uh, here in PA, it is 3 p.m. Is the drilling rifle good? It is. Um, the problem I have with the drilling rifle is mostly that it's allowed ammo classes, or uh, I guess ethical ammo classes, maybe I should say, are 5 to 9. So that is... You know, that, that doesn't include deer, mouflon, all the um, ibex species, any of the class 4 animals, and I would say the majority of species in Call of the Wild are class 4. So you miss all that stuff, and it's a single shot. So something like the 308, 30-06, uh, the M1, which is a 30-06 uh, weapon as well, I would say they're better, but the one advantage, obviously, with the drilling rifle is that ability to fire birdshot as well. So if you want one weapon... Is probably your best choice, but specifically for the rifle caliber, the 9.3, not not my favorite. What is that? That is a sunspot. Melanistic turkey? What about melanistic turkey? It sounds like a cool thing. I want one. I've got a melanistic hen from the Merriams. That's the only one I've ever shot. You know what? Let, let's stay north. I always, I always cut south. Here in Germany, it's 9 p.m. That's actually why I um, originally planned this stream for 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, my time. I knew in places like Germany, uh, a good, well, I guess basically all of Europe is kind of getting into evening night. So I didn't want it to be too late, but also I didn't want it to be too early for over in the state. This is kind of the best I could come up with. Would you like to see scrub bulls in Call of the Wild? Scrub bulls are, are a cool species. I definitely... I think that would be cool. You could ask me almost anything that's not in the game. Like, would you like to see this? And I'll probably say yes. I generally think more content, more variety is a good thing. Uh, there are exceptions, you know, generally, I'm not against the idea of using silencers. I'm specifically against the idea of silencers making the animals, like, I guess making it easier to not spook animals from a gunshot. If it's just our ears that are affected, like if it just quiets the gunshots, I'm all for it. But I want the animals to speak the same. It just kind of, it gets too close to that border of maybe making the game too easy. And I think that's important to not do. Every time, it's coming this way, I'm pretty sure. Where are you? There you are. Eh, Willow Tarmigan. Oh, that's going to land. Not that it really matters. It's not that big, but we'll try to get out of this guy just for the heck of it. Texas heart shots everywhere. The The problem is I, I forgot to hit the heart on Sid. Texas heart shots. Suppressor? What did I say? Silencers? Yeah. Feeling like a dummy out here saying silencers. 
Snow geese should be added. They added snow geese to classic and they're pretty cool. I mean, we've got three goose species now in uh, Canada geese, tundra bean geese, and gray lag geese. Why not add a fourth? What's the next diamond you want? Of all the things on Revenjuli that we don't have, hazel grouse might be it. I really like the black grouse as well, but man, the hazel grouse have the variety. I always love, you know, the, the opportunity with a diamond to be maybe an uncommon diamond. Obviously, super rares are cool, but, you know, something similar to uh, the, well, at the time, the red brown diamond wolf that we shot. That would be a super rare. Now, at the time, red brown was kind of an uncommon. Hazel grouse have a bunch of different kind of uncommon varieties, or maybe even just common varieties that are a little bit different. Black grouse, all I've seen is that dark variant. I really like them. They're probably my favorite species on the map. But the hazel grouse, because of the different plumage types, that's that's kind of why I want them. It's funny how Kyla keeps saying the map comes out tomorrow, but no one listens and keeps asking just to have Flinter say it. What if, um... Oh, you know what I need to do? You need me to say it. Huh? I need to go next to the mic and be like, Map releases tomorrow, like every five minutes. Okay. Unannouncedly the, say it. Funny enough. Oh, that's a spirit bear. Um, I was going down the same exact uh, road there, except what I was going to say is that I need to just... Well, obviously it's too late now, but next time I need to record myself just saying, Hey, guess what? Map comes out. XYZ date and then make that into like an audio thing that I can just press a button and play it It'd be great. It'd be like a little drink break <coughs> Goodness gracious. Why? <laughs> Jump scare. That seemed unnecessary Is there a midnight release? I don't think they ever do midnight releases. It'll probably be You know sometime early morning uh, Eastern time really really early morning Western time Yeah, Mel, I, I don't <laughs> I've heard different things about them being rare. I, I certainly don't think they're rare. They seem to be as common as ever. Or uncommon as ever, as the case may be. Even Shadow's yelling, is that what it was? That was her version of saying the map comes out tomorrow? Alright. Try this now with a little better angle. The next great one should be Pronghorn or Mule Deer. I certainly would not complain. Do it. There's no way. Please tell me we didn't just shoot between the lungs and into the vertebrae. Okay, I think we're good. Um, is it Cecile Cecil? I think it might be Cecil. I'm not sure. Feel free to correct me in the chat. Thank you for the super chat. Have you ever hunted with a flintlock muzzle loader in real life during the flintlock season in PA? Huh. I have. I've never killed a deer with a flintlock, and that's high on my bucket list. I'll tell you what, though. I hunt pretty hard. I hunt really hard in archery, and then come, like, November for the rut and then into rifle season. I'm really, really grinding it out. And Flintlock comes along, I'll go out a couple times, and I I just kind of, I don't know. I'm looking forward to, to getting a break, and I maybe don't hunt as much as I should. But I've had a few opportunities. I The only deer I've ever shot with a Flintlock, I hit it way too high, like I hit some of the muscles in the uh, back. So it dropped like I spined it, and I was all panicked trying to dispatch it and then it got up and ran away and we didn't find it so i'm at least hoping that it was fine i assume it was fine uh but yeah that was the closest i got i saw a thing who renewed a membership there ben thank you for the six months no no pb and p's i don't want them update on the new pc it is sitting on the other side of the room um i need to get it all set up tonight i'm hoping after the stream uh, to basically spend the evening getting all the the proper, you know, things installed from the game to the... Well, that was a blonde, not a spirit. They look very similar. Cool. Anyway, uh, fr from the game to the editing software, recording software, all the different things I need to import uh, for, like, thumbnails and all that good stuff. That That's going to be my evening, basically, getting that set up. But I'm hoping to, to be all good by tomorrow. I'm still not sure if I'm going to stream or do a video tomorrow. Uh, well, there's going to be an early video, and then after that, stream or video, I'm not sure. What's up, Simon? Rahul's in here as well. My name is pronounced Mason just with a B? Like, Basin? I think I got it. I hear it. 
That one's going the other way. Yeah, I know. It was really weird active. Um, I, I looked later in the day for sure. Because I was mowing grass till like four or so. Maybe later. And, or no, three I think. And uh, I checked. Still no update. But then today it showed that it had updated at like noon yesterday. So I don't know why there was such a delay on that. But yes, I uh, got here. Looks like it's going to be in one piece. I'll confirm that later, but I can only assume so, given the fact that the box looks like it's in good shape. Would be unfortunate, it's, uh, you know, as a lot of PCs do now, it's got, like, the glass panel, so if that was cracked, that would be real big sad. Is the new great one coming tomorrow, too? Yes, that'll be a part of the update. No one has figured out what it is as of yet. Would you rather see animals' racks be different like Classic without the number system? Um, I'm not sure I understand what you're asking me. Pineapples, thanks for becoming a channel member, by the way. I certainly appreciate that. If you're not in the Discord, be sure to join that. Link up your YouTube, get the member role, get all that good stuff that comes along with that, and enjoy the green name and emojis in chat as well. Uh, but I, now I forget what my other thing I was answering was, what are the odds I could find that? Was it about the new great one? I don't remember what I was saying. Perhaps we'll figure it out. Someone asked what my biggest buck was, by the way. It's the one that I shot this past year. If you follow me on Instagram, if you check out the community tab here on my channel, uh, it's in my Discord. There's pictures of it in all those different places. You can check it out. It was a 180 inch uh, 7x7 ridiculous PA buck that there's a fair chance in my entire life hunting in PA I won't top. Imagine if the new great one is a raccoon dog. So I had this this thing. Uh, when, boy, like in May, or now it's maybe in June, when TK said on stream, like, we're not telling you guys what it is or where it is for the new great one. It sounded weird to me. I was like, maybe it's not on Reventuli Coast. And then I started hunting this map, and I realized that I don't want to leave this map for, like, several weeks yet because I'm having an absolute blast. And now I really hope it's on this map because I want, if it, like, whenever it's found, I want to be able to grind for it. And I'd love it to be here because I know there's going to be weeks, if not months, of trying to get some of those waterfowl species. I think the grouse species are going to be real tough. Mallard. Haven't seen a whole ton of them just yet. They are definitely a lot speedier. Good to see. Bunch of hens. Oh, and a drake. Maybe the new great one's Sika deer? You know, the, the big diamond Sika are already so huge, I think it would be tough for them to make, you know, an even bigger one for a great one, but, you know, you add some drop tines, throw a little bit of non-typical stuff in there, and you got something going. Is your real name, I assume you meant to ask, is your real name Flinter? It is not. Um, I guess maybe I should... I always just, like, answer that question. Like, I'll just say no, and then I normally don't say what my actual first name is. But, uh, I was thinking of this. Next week... So today, I should actually say this first. Today on Wild TV, I believe... Uh, I, I know it's this week, but the date showed as today, so I'll say tentatively today... Uh, the first episode of our 2021 season of Meat Hunters is going to come out Friday. It'll drop on the Meat Hunters YouTube channel. And then that's the uh, TK Sun. So that one's not going to be on my YouTube channel. I promise I'll tie this back to the name thing. The second episode will air on Wild TV the week of July 4th. It should be out on the Meat Hunters channel. I think it would be like July 9th or 10th. And then on my channel the next week. And I introduced myself in that as, like, my first name and not Flinters, so, uh, maybe I should get used to telling people. It's not, the weird thing is, like, nobody calls me by my first name because it's like a, I'm a junior, so I have the same name as my dad, and therefore everybody just calls me TJ because otherwise, well, you get confused about who's being talked to. Yeah, I saw that hatchet. That was, uh, I'm, I'm way behind in that department. We got our bows. When was that? Was it right before you left for Georgia? 
But uh, we haven't gotten to get them uh, all set up yet, so we'll be dropping videos on our setups as well uh, whenever we get them set. I know my brother's is almost set. Hopefully he does a, a video too. My name is Flint Jones. That's me. Being a mod must be fairly difficult. Yeah, I don't. I don't think uh, the mods get enough credit for making the chat enjoyable and orderly. I've had a theory with the raccoon dogs, by the way. They're like red fox. They travel in pairs, it seems. So I'm shooting the males and the females because that's what I did with the red fox grind on Yukon. And I seemed to get better respawns when I started that. No idea if that's actually relevant, but it's what I've been doing. Thickasaurus Jones? Yes. That's me. I really got bullied in school for having a name Thickasaurus, but I owned it. Uh, it depends, Brayden. That could be the big rack with a fairly narrow spread, or it could be the medium rack with a fairly good spread. It's really interesting the way the racks can score on the red deer, because the whitetail, generally if you tell me the score, like I don't need to see it to know what rack it is, the red deer have some kind of crossover. More ethical to shoot both, otherwise they get sad. Yes, that too. Last thing you want is a bunch of sad raccoon dogs running around your map. That's not the gun. This should be good. No! I wanted it to run right over us. I was going to try to get a hard shot. Well, I saw some raccoon dogs scoot through there. Tiny. And I don't even know where the other one is. Probably a male. Probably a really well camouflaged male. Is that it? No. I know I saw two. Well, anyway. Uh, could the next great one be a Cape Buffalo? I assume it could be darn near anything. Trash Bandit Doggo. I like them, honestly. I was unsure. Like, when they announced there was going to be raccoon dogs, I was just like, okay, I mean, that's another thing I'll eventually want to get a diamond of, but they're pretty cool. Fun to hunt. Oh, Max Waits. Hair. Uh. Okay, it shouldn't take very long to go get that male raccoon dog. Who knows where the brown bear is or forever actually... What? If we're... That was... Did my brain just... If we'll ever actually claim it. What if I talked like that? <laughs> Hello, fellow followers. Welcome. <laughs> this is how I speak now so that I don't sound like an idiot. Anyway. <laughs> what is your favorite loadout for the new map? I've been experimenting with different stuff. Um, Three-way does pretty good on Moose. I think this is going to become a whitetail grinding map for sure, so having the 308 is pretty good for that as well. I love the, the 16 gauge for the birds. It, it does about as good a job as you can expect for a shotgun. And then 243 for raccoon dogs and 22 for, uh, you know, longer shots on Caper Kaylee, grouse, all that stuff. If we had a great one duck, it would be a banded duck. I like that idea. I'm just kind of, I don't know. Does that do enough? Is there, a, is there a big enough wow factor there to be like, this is a great one? You know what I mean? Like, I really like the idea of banded ducks, even if they're not great ones, even if they're just a rare. I think they should do it. I, I'm just unsure that it would really, you know, have that, that wow factor that great ones kind of have to have, I think. You are my favorite Call of the Wild YouTuber. Why, thank you. Goodness, how are we ever going to find this thing? All the tracks are going back to that way. I mean, I guess, could it be more so, like, that way? Maybe. Ten pound duck, there you go. Just like a, well, approximately a Caper Kaylee size duck. Banded birds would be cool, but not that special. Yeah, I think that's kind of where I'd... And I've never shot a banded bird, you know? Like, 
I've never shot any birds, any waterfowl in real life. I've shot, like, doves and stuff. Never any ducks or geese. So maybe, like, my opinion would change if I actually shot one. But, yeah, oh, there's the bear. Uh, like I said, I don't know that it has the wow factor to really kind of, you know, get people excited to grind for it, essentially. Nice. I think you might be right, Mel. I haven't seen a dark female. Are you a hunter in real life? I am. Uh, I've been hunting since I was, I mean, five years old for some small game. The the year I turned six, I shot a squirrel, but I also shot a groundhog at age five, like earlier than that, uh, that summer. And then deer hunting since I was 10. So uh, I think I'm going into my 16th year of deer hunting. It's crazy the amount that I feel like I still have yet to learn. What time is this zone for? Oh no. It doesn't even show. I guess we can click the track and find it. Am I not? Wait. Oh, okay. All is well. It absolutely does, bottom boy. Like, I, I don't know. The variety is good. The more rares and stuff is good, but unless you really know what you're looking at, it's tough. 1330 to 1700. Okay, this could be miles away. We'll try this. Wait, did I have this already? Kind of, but that that might be right. I don't know how I missed that. Dark gray. Interesting fur as well. Ten fabled moose showing at the next spot. You know, whether or not moose are this new great one, I can't wait to see a moose great one someday. And the community has voted for that on a number of polls. Like, it has to happen eventually. I can't imagine how insane they're going to look. Will the boats be on other maps? Um, they talked about something like that on stream, like maybe working towards that. I don't think Revan uh that update adds more boats, but you know, maybe, maybe one day. Do you have a place you put your VODs at? The YouTube stream VODs are obviously on the channel. My Twitch stream VODs usually just stay on Twitch. Um, I don't know, maybe one day I'll change that. I wish, there's probably an application that just automatically does it. The problem is, really, what it, what it comes down to is just the time of, like, downloading it and then getting it uploaded, thumbnail, title, description, all that good stuff. It would be nice if, uh, maybe I'll see if I can find an application that just takes your stream title, makes it the, the VOD title, and, and uploads it. I'd probably put it on the Flantro channel, to be honest. There's a feed zone, maybe we're getting somewhere. What's the best shotgun slash scope? Uh, if you want a, a shotgun with a scope, honestly, the the base game 12 gauge is one of your better options there. I would say, yeah, the base game 12 gauge and the um, the Red Raptor. Those shots didn't hit at all. Probably the direction I would go in. Where is our next track? So this is the problem, right? You hit a, a new zone, and then figuring out where it went from there. It wasn't long ago. If we can find one track, I bet we're onto it. Just need to get a direction from that feed zone. Favorite animal in Call of the Wild? As far as like animal models go, probably pronghorn or mountain goat over on Silver Ridge Peaks. Um, in terms of like my favorite thing to hunt, I really enjoy gray wolves. Just if you get, you know, a whole bunch. They attack, and if you've got, especially if you've got like a weaker gun, maybe a 6.5 or something, if you can get through that, it's just a, a cool little experience. And it's rare to get that many to attack, so it's a little bit, you know, different every time. Super rare raccoon dog this stream? I haven't seen, actually, I've not, I've not seen either element of a super rare raccoon dog posted anywhere yet. I don't know if anybody's gotten a diamond one, and I don't know if anyone's gotten a rare one. If they have, uh, in the early access period, I haven't seen it. For the new scroll wheel for weapons at the mouse scroll wheel? Yeah, you click down on the mouse scroll wheel. I'm still, call it old school or whatever, I still use the hotkeys, but I think it's going to be a game changer for controller. I just, I'm so used to doing it a certain way that I just continue to do it. I swear, if we end up losing this rabbit after all the tracking we've done, I just can't figure where it 
what a win from there. Maybe up this way? Uh, Brayden, thank you for the super chat again. In real life, banded ducks are crazy, but I don't know about in-game. Yeah, I think that's where, where it would get tough. I know it's like a, a big accomplishment and stuff, but I guess it's kind of that visual wow factor that you'd be lacking. It's a pain on controller. Yeah, I, I've only played on controller a bit. Maybe, um, that might be fun. Do a controller hunt one of these days again with the, the updated uh, weapon wheel and stuff, but I, I always had such a terrible time swapping through items and all that. Really, really struggled. Well, I don't know. We know that zone just ended, like it's gotta be close, but without like a warning call, you know what we could do? Sometimes that's enough to elicit a warning call. Doesn't look like we're gonna get that lucky. I just, without a direction of travel and then all these tracks around here that are maybe making it tough for a rabbit track to, to be left. Don't know what else to do. It would kind of be... Let's just move in that general direction and see what happens. Are you saying, like, uh, Jason, if they added additional higher settings for, um, for controller sensitivity? I can see that. It, it's pretty slow, even on the max. I have, a, I have a quality of life update. Make there be three to four track colors. One is on click tracks, one is the one you're currently on. The other would be the clack you... Clack. Well, track you just clicked off? That's a good idea. I like it. Uh, that's gonna be one we already had, huh? Wait, this is... This, 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 this right here, though. Which you... I'm lost. This one here, I think, actually is going the right direction. This is what happens any time, I swear, that you get stuck tracking a, a rabbit just when you're ready to give up you realize that there's other tracks yeah that's going down there I swear if this isn't a three it's gonna be like one of the all-time letdowns <laughs> max weight bun bun indeed and a very difficult track to follow thus far looks like we're heading down this way weird area to go into now we know the zone ended less than an in-game hour ago so like it can't be that far even though it says very old tracks gotta be here somewhere I wonder what that was oh widgeon we know where the next track is we'll just kinda spot and see wonder what sir 12 is going into the critical state for it could that be the rabbit the video is blurry. Uh, that can happen sometimes on streams, just the way that it has to encode everything. It should kind of clear up. All right, now we're getting a little fresher tracks 12 years later. The update will be about 20 gigabytes. It could be bigger than that. I hope that they've done a better job of not making it insane. Um, ooh, run. Okay, so it is close. But yeah, I know they've had such huge updates. I really hope for like the player base sake that it's not as ridiculous this time. Cutting across here, it looks like. This is hopefully, what's it called? The, what's that called at the end of a race? No, like the, the something's, the, the dang it. The something stretch? Home yes. <laughs> Help. I need a nap. Uh, home stretch, yeah, that. Final stretch? I was gonna say final stretch, but that didn't sound right. Wait, they're old run tracks? How long ago did I spook that? Maybe we're not at the home stretch. Maybe we're still at the, you know, the next block over stretch. Did we get the new PC yet? It's sitting in the other side of the room. Uh, once the stream ends, Basically, my evening is going to be getting that set up uh, for whatever I do tomorrow. Stream or video, we shall see. Um, I don't know if I'll stream again. Like, we've done a bunch of streams. So, I may just kind of go with a video and, you know, get the next day's video all set. Get things back 
in order, but we'll see. Now they're kind of straight line tracks. That worries me. It's almost as if it warped to its next zone. That's normally when you get a bunch of tracks that are in a perfect straight line. That's what that means. That doesn't mean you can't track them down, uh, but it does mean they can be pretty far away yet. Will you play the Angler when that releases as well? I certainly intend to. Um, the idea of doing like videos and streams combining the two games really, really appeals to me. Plus, you know, just the Angler content on its own. I've never been big into fishing games, but I think the Angler might be one that, uh, you know, reels me in, they might say. Uh, the big size updates because of the poor engine optimization is actually not just that. Apparently, um, like, Microsoft and Sony for consoles actually set the update size. So, the reason sometimes it has been like 60 gigs is that Microsoft and Sony are just having you do like a full game reinstall rather than just kind of adding the thing. I think that's the way that I... EW has said like they don't set the update sizes and I can only assume that it's like a full game install or reinstall rather than just that add-on. Does the map release at midnight or later in the morning? Uh, depends on the time zone you're in. If you're on like the east coast it'll probably be early-ish morning if you're on the west coast. It could be close to midnight I'd say still a bit after. I can't wait to track this rabbit for three hours. Don't, don't, don't do me like this. Where, where's the next track? I'm not ready to abandon this after we found it three different times. Uh oh. Okay, we're just gonna keep going forward and hope for the best. The other option is, uh, somewhere back there is where its zone is at, and we've gone past it. We were here earlier today, right? That's what the hunting pressure would be? I guess so. Oh no. Alright. Fingers crossed that we find another track. This would be the huge sad. What is the update date? Tomorrow. What did you find? Just got here. We're chasing a max weight um, mountain hare, but after kilometers of tracking, its, it's tracks might have disappeared. It's actually a good thing if they veer off to one side or the other, um, but if we don't have anything at all, we might be out of luck. Wait. Mm-hmm. Just when I thought all hope was lost. What's up, G? Old. Okay, so it turned. That's usually a good sign. Uh, we'll see. Because it's kind of like a sharp turn, and then we're still going in a straight line, so it might not mean much. Do the ducks land on land? Yes. Um, I will say that the landing animation is almost like overdone. They kind of circle too many times. If you've ever seen a duck land on water, they're incredibly agile in the air, and they can make such minute but important little maneuvers and... They really don't need to, you know, slow way down the way they do in the game and, and circle around like a foot off the water. But, you know, it's leagues better than it used to be and maybe it'll get an improvement one day. So I've noticed, uh, tracks have kind of gone away again. It's kind of only one place they can go. The water's there. Um, you may wonder how the heck a rabbit would climb that cliff, but you got to remember that this... Rabbit was moving this way when none of the ground was rendered in. Uh, we were beyond render distance from it, so it just kind of goes right up over it as if it's not there. I swear. Tracking distance is going to be nuts. Super Rabbit? Yeah, literally. How do you change the reticle on the Red Raptor site? Uh, so again, this, this can't be done until the update tomorrow, but... You'll scroll down here and you've got all these different things. Reticle color, reticle size, uh, reticle shape, all the different options you can do for that. Or was I? Wait, hold on. I think I have the wrong one. That is for the... Yeah, is the reflex site. So you have the reflex shape, color, opacity, reticle size, lens color, and opacity down there as well. More, more options even than I was showing. I was looking at the thing that came with the AR update. Blue track. 
I don't want to be... I don't want to lose it now. It looked like it turned down a bit. Uh, not the best sign. Normally, if I see a lot of tracks, I'll kind of run a bit further in case there's too many tracks in an area and maybe the track I'm actually after just isn't visible due to that. It's also usually relevant that animals kind of take the same paths, so we can find a blue track by following other species. Better be a friggin' jackalope. <laughs> it better just let us shoot it. I don't know where... We're about to make the biggest circle and call the wild tracking history out here. 270 whitetail all over again? As long as it's not the, uh, the piebald gator where we mess it up. It's the great one, Rabbit. It says 5 to 6, but it's actually 50 to 60 kg. Trying to unlock the rhino? Um, probably the best way to do that. Just, I feel the need to say this for anybody that's new to the game. He's not talking about, like, a species rhino. He's talking about the 454, the weapon. Uh, there are no rhinos in the game. Thought that might be a relevant point. Um, what I did, I started with the 357, and I shot, like, roe deer. Um, I'd go to Quattro. I did it on Hirschfelden. That might, nope, not what I wanted. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Quattro is probably better for roe deer now. I would just shoot roe deer until you get the 44. Maybe take that to Reventuli or somewhere you can shoot whitetail. And, uh, it won't be long until you're on to the 454. What's the scariest noise in the game? I'll tell you what, maybe it's just unfamiliarity with it, but the raccoon dog mating call, it's this kind of higher-pitched squeal kind of sound. It'll get you pretty good. There is one rhino in the game. There is, technically, yes. Very fresh, please. Goodness gracious, be down by the water. I don't know what's going to happen if it ain't. I've seen tracks go across bodies of water before. I may draw the line at that. Uh-oh. Are we turning again? Could be due to the water that it's uh, making a 90 degree turn. I'd hate to get to very fresh and then lose it. The worst part is, like, we're not tracking... I mean, we are tracking the animal that's moving around. But the movements that we're actually following is the game literally warping this mountain hare to wherever its zone is supposed to be. So it's not even like we're right behind it yet. Just hoping to see something to indicate that it's moved another direction. Raccoon dog tracks everywhere, if only we were actually following them. This would be the sensible direction for it to go if it was going to change direction. Oh my. What on earth? I guess we have to. There's so many. And they're not even big. You gotta spot them just in case any of them would have been big, but, uh, not really what I would have hoped to see. I really wanted that to be a mountain hare warning call. I was so ready. We'll try to get back on the trail in a minute. If we can get that other male, that would just be lovely. Wherever he went. Uh, well, I guess we just got the one. Your dedication is admirable. There's two sides of it, honestly. Like, one side is, I am determined to actually go and get it. The other side is, when I've... Maybe, like, three minutes. It isn't long. When I spend, like, any significant portion of a stream tracking one particular animal, I feel a... Not a responsibility, necessarily, but, like... There's some people that want to see what it is, and if I don't find it, then they're just kind of left like, well, why did I just watch you track this thing? Uh, but now it's getting 12 times worse the longer that it goes, and then that it's like a, a loop that the longer I track it, the more, you know, required I feel to actually find it. But you do reach a critical mass where it's just like, why am I still doing this? Look at this ridiculous tracking. Did I miss any diamonds? Uh, honestly, you mostly miss me tracking a max weight hair for forever. It ain't looking good to find it either. I don't know. 
I don't know what happens after this. I think what we'll do, probably, is um, we'll spend a couple more minutes just kind of scanning around, make sure that there's not another track somewhere. And if there's not, kind of think of just resetting the time and trying to go get it in its feed zone properly. Because, again, we spent too much time to not at least see it. Probably to not kill it, but we'll just... I always, like I I want to find stuff without resetting the time if I can help it for a number of reasons. Resetting the time on something like this where uh, where the tracks are being weird, it can result in the animal just being you know who knows where, not where you expect it in the zone that you may have for it. So I try to avoid it for that reason. But then also just because you know it feels a, a little lame to just in a way give up and and reset, but. It's looking more and more like that's about the only option. Watch it be a max slash max super rare? I think I have seen one dark gray, so I don't think it could be a super rare, but it uh it could be a max based on the track estimate. Hello. What was that, a goose? I think it was a goose. Uh TJ Riddle, thank you for the super chat. I am currently adding to your list of nicknames. So far I have Philantro and Phileo Fish. That's a new one. I like that. Could be especially useful in the uh, in the spring. What's he tracking? A max weight estimate mountain hare that... Well, basically what happened... I think what happened was... I reset the time not long before the stream started in order to... Uh, you know, have a morning start to the stream. And I think... It was like late afternoon before I did that. So the mountain hare was in a rest zone. Resetting the time caused the game to warp it to like a feed zone or something. And every now and then you get something like this where it just, it seems to warp for like miles and we're not finding it. So what we're gonna do, we do have its feed zone. We are going to reset the time to, I don't know, like maybe an hour in game before its feed zone should start and we'll uh, we'll go and hunt something else for a couple minutes just kind of hopefully let it get into its zone and hopefully go and find it I need to mark its feed zone before we get too far away here where was I know it wasn't a good hit but I don't think it's going real far do you have to have Mississippi for the 22H? Uh, yeah I think so what's up Scarecrow? Excuse me. Where are you? Oh. Come up this way. There you go. Uh, you missed the next track on the trail to the right. Thank you for the, uh, the super chat. Are you referring to this here? Like the raccoon dog one? Because I, I got onto that trail. I don't know if that's maybe what you're talking about. But I will go back to the rabbit and check that as well. I'm never gonna find the raccoon dog if Sir Twelve doesn't get up here and help us. I don't even know what we're on. Not found. I know we hit it. So anyway, I started breaking the chat rules. As one does. I might get some merch for my birthday in a few days, that's cool. If you do, I hope you like it. Yeah, is this worth my time? For a level 5. Probably not. Okay, so feed zone was there. Let's just make it like 5 a.m. We'll go through here, which is good for raccoon dogs. We'll come back and try to get that here. What's up, Bryce? When tomorrow is it released? Uh, there's never an official release time. Usually you can expect it like, you know, by morning, um, Eastern time. Let me, what the, okay, fine. You do you game. Uh, let's do like 540-ish. Should give us time. Do you think there will be great ones in the angler? Well, uh, they did say that there's going to be that was that uh, raccoon dog mating call by the way they did say there's going to be 
you know, diamond rank fish, so I don't see a reason why they wouldn't do that. Would be interesting. You know, I'm really uh, intrigued to see how, like, the respawn system works. Because they, they seemed very, um, very big on catch and release and stuff, right? So, I wonder how they properly do respawns if you're releasing the fish. Does it go away forever? Does it grow? Like, I wonder what their... What their method is for that. The Mexican bobcat warning scares... That, that one probably is scarier than the raccoon dog, now that you say that. I'd love to see a leaderboard in the angler. You would think they could do that. You know, Call of the Wild had one. I don't think it works anymore. Where did that used to be? Leaderboards, yeah. It used to be that you would see, like, all your Steam friends. There we go. But what is 351? I don't know if this is Whitetail Trophy Ratings? Maybe? So at least it kind of works. They must have reset a number of times, because obviously the old system's not on there. Bobcat noises in real life are terrifying? They are. That That is definitely true. Is that him? Level 2. Why did I come down here for that? Were you second? I didn't even... I wasn't reading. I feel like there should be an age the older fish should be kept, and if you release them, they either get smaller or naturally die, and also the ability to see if you caught a fish when it was smaller. That would be neat if there was some kind of, like, you caught this fish on date. You know, certain fish in real life have uh, distinctive markings or whatever where you could know that. I don't think you'd be able to realistically, you know, identify every fish, but why not do that in the angler? I think that could work. What happened to the hunt club beta? I think it's still a thing. I, I have it disabled for probably years at this point. I've noticed that it kind of contributes to crashing, so I just don't use it. Uh, I don't know, it all seemed like a good idea, and then they just sort of didn't go anywhere with it. Did you get the rabbit? Nope. <laughs> we're going back here shortly. Uh, we're going to run up through this area, even though I'm going the wrong way right now. And then it's feed zone, which I've already accidentally taken my marker away from. But we're going to go down and, and check out the feed zone, hopefully while it should be there. Now, you know what we're going to do? Let's get out of here. Let's actually not go to this spot. Let's go, like, miles away. So if the game is, like, you know, trying to put the hair back in its place and we're too close so it can't make it warp or whatever... That could be weird. We'll just stay up here and hopefully it does it. Uh, glad to be able to play this map tomorrow, but anyone know what time in the UK it'll be available to download and play? Uh, Noon-ish? It's never like a... You know, they don't confirm release times for good reason, but usually around noon UK, you, you could probably expect it. Do you think the Angler will be a more realistic game or more arcade style like Call of the Wild? I think fishing simulation games naturally are more realistic than a hunting sim game because hunting simulation requires a level of arcadiness to keep people interested. Uh, Cooper, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for existing, Flintstone. My, my pleasure. I, I had nothing to do with the choice to exist, but here I am. <laughs> Thank you for the information, no worries. The hunts are fish, that's what they should have called it, I like it. What hair is it I just came back? Uh, we had a max weight mountain hair track. Didn't end up killing it, we're gonna go back and try to get it in a moment. I wish we could see the tracking distance. Because we've uh, reset the time and stuff, the tracking distance is gonna reset. I mean, it had to be like three or four kilometers that we just unfortunately couldn't get it. What's your level in game? Level 60, that's the max. I've always felt that they should increase the max level in game to like, even if they made a a no level cap. I know, I used to play Rocket League, a bunch of you guys know that. They had a level cap at 75 for a long time, and then they removed a level cap. And I don't know how they determined it, but they did give you XP to level up based on something. 
and then they made it so there was no cap, and just every like 20,000 XP or something, he leveled up. There doesn't have to be anything that comes with a level up in my opinion. If they want to give you more perk and skill points, like that's cool, I feel like they're not such big advantages that they wouldn't break the game if you did get them, but even if it was just purely to be like, hey, I'm level 112, my friend's level 212, I gotta do some catching up or whatever, we need to compare levels that way. Because it's hard to compare, like, experience in game to a certain point. Uh, Danny, thank you for the super chat. Thank your parents for existing. Corporal Klinger, I got you. Anytime. The Hunter Peta one so fish. <laughs> oh, no. Level cap of 12? Why not? Where did you peek at in Rocket League? Um, oh, God. 1700 something MMR and Grand Champion. I have a screenshot of it on Steam. I'll find it. Um, prior to the. Because I know they have like new ranks now, but back when Grand Champ was the highest rank, I was 17. Yeah, 1740, 1760. A couple of times I played against pros. I got hard carried by Kronobi once. That was pretty cool. Uh, there was one. I, I screenshotted that too. There was a guy that was on like the outskirts of RLCS and stuff that complimented me and said he was the I was the best twos player he ever saw and I was like wow I'm not but thank you <laughs> I guess I played good this game for once usually I play like trash when I meet somebody good max weight for bass twelve pounds twelve ounces if they don't do that I'll be disappointed you're probably right Clark I'm hoping for the best you know that maybe there's a little more anticipation with it but you know from a devs perspective I maybe psycho would be a good uh, good one to get like in a voice chat to explain this someday because he, he understands this stuff far more than I can but I'd like to know from a devs perspective is it like intelligent to try to make stuff like that extra hard to crack or do you just you know do that. You retired being the best 2v2er in Rocket League? Nah, I probably went downhill a little bit after that from from when I retired. Do you know Absurd the SCP fan? I, I don't have a clue. Best goat for the 223? That's kind of a matter of uh, of preference, really. I think most players, like if you were to take a poll and just ask like what scope do you use most most are going to use the Hyperion I prefer the Argus I really like the extra zoom that the Argus um, supplies when it's something like this you know I'm shooting a, a small animal or maybe I'm shooting a, a deer at 300 meters I want that extra zoom and I don't find that the zoom or the uh, lower field of view hurts my close range shooting enough to make it not worth it I'd probably have 200k more subs if I started in Rocket League again. I don't know. Rocket League is a pretty big content creation thing, but I, I, could, I don't think I'd be any good at making Rocket League content. It just wouldn't fit my style, you know? I tried a couple times. Made a couple Rocket League videos. I think I made one actual, like, competitive, and the rest were, like, carrying Zaggy to way higher ranks than he ever should have been. Kenobi was the GOAT. It always, you know, the one sad thing with the Kenobi thing was like he obviously he got his season one championship but he could never quite make it back was that the one that we're tracking well that was a great shot that is the one we're tracking by the way absolutely not necessary to shoot it out of the air I just wanted to and almost let it get away we need the farming sim streams. Oh, I meant to uh, bring that up on a stream, actually. So I've been talking about, like, if Shadow was going to be well-behaved, I may kind of bring back the Sunday streams. I honestly miss it. Like, I, I get to Sunday, and I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, I mow, I have to do, like, a lot of lawn care here, mowing grass and all that, but you can't do that early-ish in the day because of dew and such reasons. So I could stream earlier, but... Um, <laughs> I was saying, like, when Kylo was in Georgia, Shadow's being super well-behaved. I think we might have a real chance. I legitimately think Shadow was depressed she was gone. Because now she's a little psycho again. Not Kylo, the dog. <laughs> 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 
she misbehaves that I'm back. It's not, I mean, it's so hard to be mad at her, because it's not like she's doing that to be annoying. She just wants attention, but she has to understand she can't get literally non-stop attention. I forget what bird has to be shot in the air. Both species of ptarmigan, rock ptarmigan and willow ptarmigan, need to be shot in the air. Uh, all the grouse, all the waterfowl, capercaillie, they can be shot off the ground. Okay, 6.30. This rabbit was feeding, so I'm going to take that as a good sign. We'll try it again. If it's not there, I'm going to have extreme sad. It'd be funny if it's right by this outpost. Are you better than DD33? At what? I, I don't know. <laughs> DD is probably a better archer in this game than me. I don't do a whole lot of that. I don't know, Brayden. Eventually, I got actual, like, good camera settings. I used to do the thing that, like, I think a lot of new players did with, like, the crazy far FOV and stuff. I promise, like, by the time I was done, I had normal settings. I think I got... Oh, boy. A lot of pros share the camera settings, and I'm sure that I basically... Oh, you know what it was? I think it was KDOPS, and then I adjusted a little bit, because KDOP used to have that... Really huge FOV as well. Oh, sounds good, Danny. Have fun. I don't think I went far enough away, actually. Let's uh, let's go back to like 250. If anybody's wondering what I'm talking about, when you spawn in an outpost or a tent, any animals within about 200 meters will just be invisible. I want to go back to like 250 to make sure that we're not too close to having that invisible thing. The only way to get those invisible animals to become visible is to go beyond that 200 meter mark. Acid's better than Didi, and he doesn't even play Call of the Wild. He does play Call of the Wild. He jumps on, shoots diamonds, and then goes back to classic, I think. Kind of odd you can't shoot the Tarmigan on the ground. 22LR is like the choice for Tarmigan hunters around here. I don't know why. Yeah, it is weird. Like, they chose Tarmigan as the, the species that you can't... Or that you have to take out of the air. I think, you know, generally... The difficulty is good for something, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what caused him to settle on Tarmigan. Yeah, it's funny. Like, I don't think enough people see that side of it, Bottom Boy. Like, because there's a there's a reason to look at it as a negative, but it can be a huge positive for grinding and all that stuff. What's up, Bailey? Does the map come out tomorrow on all platforms? Yes. Do female animals on this map go to diamond? At the very least, female mountain hare, yes. I also think female willow ptarmigan should be the ones that make diamond. Um, I'm unsure about rock ptarmigan so far. It seems hazel grouse, uh, those are going to be male diamonds. Black grouse are male diamonds. Hello, you're a two after all this effort. What, at, and, and you've managed to avoid my... Well. Can you be a level two diamond at least like kind of make it worth the time I spent. Where'd it go? Did it just stop? Could have most rabbits do that. Yeah, there it is. Oh my, all that time that we ran after it. Uh, I was Grand Champ somewhere in the 1700 MMR range. Uh, Casey? Oof. It was really close. So they're, they're scored by weight, so in theory it's about 5.54 um, trophy rating as well. Diamonds 5.6. Nice rabbit. Not quite what we're after. And now we're an hour into the stream after all that. Alright, let's get into upland bird uh, territory. I want to chase some, chase some grouse and stuff. Smoked by a level 2 indeed. Rip the dream. I really want... A diamond mountain here for two reasons. Number one, I think they're the best rabbit model in the game now. Uh, but more so, I that antelope jackrabbit grind was so bad on on Rancho. I just don't want another terrible rabbit grind. The Mississippi one, um, Eastern Cottontail. I got lucky. I got one in early access, and I haven't seen a level three since. I'm I'm a little afraid of that one. I would like to think. Because of all the time you have to spend 
in order to grind for things like Tarmigan and Grouse, you're going to be in a bunch of areas, you know, covering a lot of ground. So in theory, stumbling into a diamond uh, mountain here should be maybe a, middle, a little more likely than, than others, but I don't know. Every time I see a maxway track, I'm just like, please let me be done. How to get all the map unlocked? Uh, if you're talking about what I think you are, you have to have all of the lookout points discovered. I don't know if you need to unlock every outpost or claim every outpost. You might need to. Really at you? I never get any threes. Are they single player or multiplayer? I'm, I'm really intrigued and I'll, uh, I'll talk about why when you answer that. Uh, the Danger Power, thanks for becoming a channel member. I certainly appreciate you. If you're not in the Discord, be sure to join that. Kyla has the link in chat. Join up, link up YouTube, get the member roll, get all that good stuff, and enjoy the green name and emojis in chat as well. Half our level twos. See, that's the other thing. I've tracked a bunch of max weight uh, twos. Bunch of 1.8s, never a 1.9. All of my single players. So, I've had this theory, goodness gracious, since, uh, sometime in probably 2018. I think some people have better spawns for certain species. I couldn't get a diamond reindeer for the life of me off of Medved, and I remember Zaggy kept on killing him. He, he had like five, and I just couldn't get one, and I was, you know, grinding away as well. And eventually I went in the multiplayer and I did find one. It was just like I couldn't get a diamond reindeer spawn. But, you know, I take Javelina on my, uh, my rancho. I've killed so many diamond Javelina without trying at all. It just doesn't make any sense to me. The best I can figure is, like, some people just have good spawn rates. I don't understand why I don't have this luck. Maybe I'm just bad. There's another one somewhere. The males and the females make the same sounds when they're flying, so I'm, I'm always worried that I'm missing a male. That explains why I get nothing good at anything of your maps. You just have the worst spawns of all time. Could be. Yeah, exactly, Jason. And I never had good diamond mountain goat luck. It took a long grind to get one, but I have good diamond pronghorn luck. Um, I had two standing side by side. I, too, suffer from the spawn strugs. You got bad mule deer luck for sure. I wonder if the pop reset will change the luck on certain species? Maybe. Um, I have two different theories kind of on how spawning works. I think that there's a chance it's more or less entirely random, and that could, in theory, kind of change your luck. Um, the other thing could be, their randomness, you can't achieve true randomness with a computer, there has to be something that's a part of it. So it could be down to your, like your save file number, your player ID or something. Like say, I don't know, if your player ID is a factor of 12, then maybe you have really good Caper Kaylee spawns. I don't know. Like, if that's the way that it works, then a pop reset in theory doesn't change your luck. But nobody knows how it works, so, you know, it, it could very well be all you need to change it. I can't recall ever having an animal that I had really bad luck with and then suddenly getting a diamond following a reset, but that doesn't mean it hasn't happened. I couldn't buy a level 5, a level 4 pronghorn, let alone a level 5 troll or diamond if I tried. Yeah, I feel that with some species. How did you stay hidden like that? Got them everywhere. That's good to know. I, I never really had a great hazel grouse spot. Hopefully that next one flushes up. Is Melanistic Springbuck a thing? It is not. If you saw one that you thought maybe was Melanistic, it was a black brown. Um... They're barely even an uncommon, unfortunately. They're they're rather frequent. I hear it. Is that it? I hope not. That's a little far for a shotgun. Uh, nope. I wanted to know what you were. 
kind of decent. Are we going to get it with a 22? I highly doubt it. Oh, never mind. I'm still wondering what it means that SRP isn't getting the great reset. It is weird, isn't it? Apparently they just said they couldn't fit it into the update. I just... You know, not that I don't trust EW, but I guess what I mean is... I know they will say things to mislead us. Not like maliciously, just to, you know, throw us off the trail of things a little bit. So I'm not taking them at their word when they say it's just because they couldn't fit it into this update. There, maybe, maybe, but there certainly could be more to it. I, I definitely could see that being a thing, Clark, but because it's only Silver Ridge Peaks that's not getting reset, that kind of limits it to like Rocky Mountain Elk, Mountain Goat, Pronghorn. Um, couldn't be Bison, couldn't be Mule Deer, couldn't be Miriam's Turkey. Uh, what else is just SRP exclusive anymore? Couldn't be Black Bear. Pronghorn. I said Pronghorn, I think. So I don't know, like it could be. Hard to say. My SRP needs a reset because there's nothing on it and I'm too lazy to grind? I feel that sometimes, you know. That's why I hunt multiplayer. Not necessarily even because it's being too lazy to grind. But you know, if I want to go and hunt, say SRP for the sake of it, and I've hunted my single player SRP like say twice in the last couple weeks, didn't find anything, that's not going to make me very motivated to spend a bunch of time on my own map. So maybe I'll go to multiplayer and, you know, so it's a much higher motivation factor there. Trying to get that male one too. I felt good about that one shot, but no such luck. Uh, Cody, thank you for the super chat. Buddy shot a great one first day on his tail, Roa. That would be pretty wild to get one on the first day. It's definitely something that I have yet to experience. How do you feel about the weapon wheel? As far as, you know, from the perspective of a PC player, uh, I don't think it changes much for me. I think it's going to be an absolute game changer for console, but, you know, like I said, for my purposes, the way I play the game, I just use the hotkeys to swap through weapons, so, you know, using the weapon wheel doesn't really affect me. How many slots are there? Is there 10? I think. So it's about the same as far as like the options. I know there's like the ammo swap function or something. I don't even know how that works, but you don't like being able to switch ammo and scopes from the wheel? I'm going to be honest, I almost never have a reason to switch ammo or scopes. So it's kind of unnecessary for me. Like, I don't know when I would switch ammo. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, like, switch ammo. Ooh, hello. During the course of hunts. How many black grouse are up there? A whole bunch. New spot. Or new zone, anyway. Oh, do we just plink them all? Probably. I feel bad. Like, I really do. It, it seems lame to just shoot them in the distance with a 22, but at the same time, not only is it ethical in terms of like you get your um your metal boy that was some bad shooting it also is kind of the best for respawns thank goodness they sat there so long we got nine shots off by the way what's your favorite super rare in terms of looks uh our albino diamond moose for sure in terms of like i guess my favorite overall the the pieball diamond gray fox was really special I remember, like, not only was it a crazy hunt, I got an albino raccoon earlier, I killed a di my first diamond quail in that hunt, that was my first time in Grey Fox as well, which is nuts. Um, but I was just having a, a tough time with that hunt, like, I, I had tried to record a different video earlier in the night, it just wasn't working out, so I kind of shifted gears, went to, to Mississippi, and ended up having the probably rarest thing I've shot anyway. Four out of nine, great Houston. Gee, thanks. It's crazy fast. The shotgun's right. Is it mainly? It's also faster to equip just the gun and add the ammo and scope from the wheel. Like in this section? I don't even know how to do that. I don't... 
I don't know what to do. I don't know. I, I'm a, uh, what? Traditionalist. I like, I like the old inventory screen. It does make sense for shotguns, but I also like never hunt with buckshot. For like a challenge video or something, it could be good. With how the dog wheel is an Xbox, I'm skeptical about the weapon wheel. They even fixed that. Like, uh, there's a... I don't know, it, it's much better now. I don't think you're gonna get that weird thing where it gets stuck and you don't get it to do what you want. What shotgun for the birds? I'm using the 16 gauge from Rancho del Arroyo. I think probably your best option on, um, on Reventuli. The main game 12 gauge is really good too. I just find the 16 gauge is... I don't know, my, my target acquisition with it is better. Whether that's a me thing, or whether that's a, a positive attribute of the gun, I don't know. What's going to be the new colors? There are four, I think. There is a color for Eurasian Widgeon, a color for Eurasian Teal, a color for Bean Geese, and a color for Grey Lag Geese. I guess that makes sense. Like, I, I don't know. I don't even switch stuff often enough to... I guess what it comes down to is I don't switch stuff often enough to bother learning yet. Once I see how it works, I might use it for the ammo stuff. Relatable mail with the rabbit. I feel it. What was that? Lynx. Cachetori just fires too slow. It's not much different than the 16 gauge. I... I thought the same, and somebody brought that up in stream and we tested it. The really similar fire rates, but I don't know. Maybe the 16 gauge is a little faster. What is that? It's a kind of white bird, probably a ptarmigan. There's a rabbit with it too. Uh, small, oh, black grouse, okay. There's a kind of decent male over there. What are the odds we can, how far, 300? Can we lob a shot over there and, and get that? Yes. Guess we're going over there. Have you ever been to Sweden? I have not. Highlight the gun on the wheel and use Q and E to swap ammo and scopes? Now you mean here, right? I guess it doesn't. Q doesn't do anything for me. He does. Or is Q for ammo? I think that's what you're saying. Okay. It might... I, I don't know. It might be something I try to get better at using. I feel... I think it's because I don't have any... Um, I guess the first time I've even bothered with it. It feels clunky because I don't know what I'm doing. Weapon wheel coming with a new map? Uh... Weapon wheel or item wheel, whatever you want to call it, yeah. How many gigabyte is the update? We do not know. Um, the, yeah, probably a lot. The update for early access is never the same, so I, I don't have an idea. What's your favorite new item? I don't know. I mean, as far as actual inventory items go, the only new options are like the, uh, the colors, and I guess the... The water, water layout line is pretty cool. Probably that. Do you think I should buy this map? I would highly recommend it. It has been probably the most fun I've had just run around exploring in a very long time. Is this cheaper than other maps? Um, no, should be the same price, $7.99 US. I think every map has been the exact same price in the beginning. I can't wait to be set up on my PC again. Kyla's mouse doesn't have the, um... It does have side buttons, they're just not set up. I have mine set up to be able to identify calls with my mouse. And therefore, when I'm taking a drink or something and I hear a call, I can just ID it and it's not all awkward. Did the update for brown bears affect Medved too? Um, Medved brown bears will have the new textures, including uh, any ones that you've shot. Any brown bear in your lodge, We'll have the textures from uh, the, the new update. No elk to shoot in the face today. No, unfortunately not. Um, maybe other things. We shall see. 
Wasn't Mississippi on sale last time though? Maybe. A lot of times the maps are on sale for a, a slight discount when they come out, but like the overall price is gonna be the same. What would you think of a retriever dog? The more waterfowl we get and then grouse and rabbits too, I think it's gonna be something that we'll see eventually. I really want them to to add it. I look at geese specifically, a retriever would be so important. How do I take down a tree stand? Uh, you should just be able to walk to it and press, is it like R? I don't even know what the button is. Did you get the rabbit? Yes, we did. Uh, it was, we can't see the exact trophy rating. It was somewhere between 0.1 and probably 0 0.06 off. Uh, diamond is 5.6, it was 5.5. .5. Weight was 5.54, so in theory the trophy rating would have been closer to 5.54. Could have been as high as probably 5.578, just depends. There's always a little random element there. This map looks like Walmart at 3 a.m. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't think I've been to Walmart at 3 a.m. either, so that might be why. Uh, super hard to get, I don't understand. Can you explain better, please? I don't know what's needing explained. We did get the bunny. Uh, it was a nice gold, not a diamond. Maybe one day. Empty? I have the exact opposite impression of this map. It's rare that there's not something happening. We are running through maybe the more barren area of the map, but even still, you know, there's a lot of ptarmigan, grouse, stuff like that to go after. Thought there was another male in there. Odds that we hit that. Approximately not very good. Worth a try. Oh, we did hit it. Cool. Looks like Walmart on the first when the food stamps drop. That's how I look at it. I mean, it's it's pretty constant. Whether it's tracks or encounters, waterfowl, you know. Upland birds, always something seems to be, you know, somewhere in the vicinity. Are you the one that we shot? No. Uh, if we don't shoot better, you're not going to be the one that we shot after that either. I don't think I've shot a silver black grouse. Which I guess is good for the potential of getting, like, gold rares or better, but, you know, you'd like to see a little variety. Oh, nice, Mel. Any, uh, any positive sign there? For this map, do you have a specific route or are you just running around? Nope, just running aimlessly. I think because there are so many birds and they can spawn in so many different areas, it's probably best to, to kind of take that approach and intentionally go different areas. Like, I try to sometimes go out in the open, sometimes go through the trees. There's stuff everywhere, like, you just need to cover all your bases, quite literally. Correct me if I'm wrong, but do you not have to shoot the grouse out of the air? Grouse can be shot on the ground, yeah. Um, will a ptarmigan and rock ptarmigan have to be shot out of the air, at least if you want the metal? Everything else can be shot um, while grounded. Uh, STPY, thanks for the super chat. Glad to catch your stream. Stoked for the grouse, as am I. The hazel grouse, that uh, female that we just saw fly by. They look amazing. I really want a diamond hazel grouse. Uh, and the black grouse, too. I'm having a ton of fun with them. How do we get the early access? Uh, so the content creators for Call of the Wild, um, they have like official, like uh, in their official Discord, they have a content creator role. I think all of the partner creators get early access. So, um, you know, if you're making content, if you're streaming, you can apply in their Discord. They have a become a creator, I think it is, text channel. You can see like the requirements, what to do to do all that. Um, it's pretty cool they, they do early access as well. Kind of like a, a neat little... Perk, I guess you could call it for for making content on the game. The chat and video are surprisingly in sync. We're good. Is the Mosin fixed? Um, I don't know if it ever got completely fixed. I've been using it here and there. Like it, 
It was never so bad that it shouldn't be used, probably. It seemed to me that it was specifically when the scope was zoomed out, so if you just zoom your scope in, it seems to be fine. Have you caught a drought, a drought, a trout on a dry fly yet? No, I haven't. I wanted to... Man, it's getting late into the year, too. I wanted to uh, take Shadow Camp and... Same place that Kyle and I went last year, just make sure we don't go on Stocking Day, because that was horrid. Um... I really wanted to try to catch one on a dry fly up there because I felt like I had pretty good odds of it. As far as here, the grass is so grown up and, you know, even in like June and stuff, I started to get conscious about like spooking deer and all that, so we just haven't fished as much. I haven't, haven't been out in probably a couple weeks. Do you prefer geese on land or in the water in Reventuli Coast? Uh, probably on land. We hunted bean geese on land and gray lags in the water. I just found like I I had better success on land. It's cool to see them in the water, and the one huge advantage to hunting them in the water is that the dead geese will float to you. I was just talking about wanting a retriever for geese. If you're hunting near water, that kind of solves the problem, but I don't know. I like being on dry land. It was very pretty. That seems to be a good sign. Is the penetration bug fixed? Um, I'm kind of unaware of a penetration bug. Are you talking about, like, uh, for Cape Buffalo kind of thing? Do we know what the new great one is? We do not. I'm going to keep mentioning this, by the way, because I really hope they do it. We have to get a more detailed track info box. Zero kg on all these bird species literally means nothing. Like, we needed to say... You know, the same thing the map says, 0. 0.66 to 0. 0.72 or whatever. Having to open the map every time. As of now, it's not a big deal. But as we get more zones on Reventuli, it's going to lag when we open the map. Every map does that. You go to my Layton and open the map, it might take like a second or two. Just a little bit of lag. Like, that's something I really hope they do. Have you checked out the birds on any other maps? I've not messed with mallards, harlequins, or, uh, what are they called? Cinnamon teal on, on parquet. I assume they all work the same, but I don't know. Do you think red grouse would be a cool species? Yeah, why not? Are the mallards still broken to calls? I don't know. What's your biggest diamond? It's always hard to answer that question because since they went to the new scoring system, it's hard to compare species to species. I've got a number of, you know, max score diamonds. So I guess any one of them, maybe the Diamond Plains Bison since it's got the highest max score, but yeah, you know, like I said, tough to, to really categorize them. Uh, Craig, thank you for the super chat. I hope I got that in the right order. What are your thoughts on Way of the Hunter? I think it's going to be pretty good. It's so tough to judge from, you know, limited, well, limited video, I guess. But from everything I've seen, they're, they're doing a lot of stuff right. I think it's going to end up being good. I'm excited to try it out. Uh, I don't know how to say your name. Erasius? I don't know if I got that right. Thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. If I said your name wrong, uh, feel free to correct me in chat. Just wanted to say thank you and Kyla for the content. Well, I certainly appreciate it. Fields in the new map would have been cool for feeding zones for ducks and geese. You know, you will see at least geese. Even up here, I've seen Canada geese just like feeding around. I think it's up in this corner somewhere. Um, pretty neat to just see a flock of geese landed. Shadows barking in her sleep. She's chasing chipmunks. Finally caught one in her sleep. A few weeks ago, I shot a non-typical axis in real life. That's pretty cool. Where at? Um, I know, like, in Texas, they have no season. In Hawaii, they have no season. Curious where you're, where you're going. If you want to say. You don't have to tell us, obviously. I think it's going to be pretty cool, the morning fishing and the angler. I just want to... Alright, literally, all I want to do is go and combine Call the Loud and the Angler, or the Hunter and the Angler. Make a, one video doing both. Gonna be way too much fun. 
Boy, that, that was a hit. It is going forever without dropping health. 130 minutes real time and no mallards came in? Yeah, I, as of now, before the update, that doesn't surprise me. I'm hoping with this update that's going to be fixed. Is molting the only plumage type for rock ptarmigan? Now they have molting, white, bicolor... Uh, I don't know if they have an ochre. They might. I think there's another I'm missing too. Like a brown or something? Saltwater fishing in the angler. That that might be something we see eventually. I I'm hoping. The bad thing is they're so expensive. Yeah, I get that. Like PC versus console. That is definitely the one drawback to to PCs being more uh, pricey to get into. All females? That's a thick flock of black grouse. All right, carry on. Are we talking about chili? I'm excited. Literally, slow cook it, get the uh, PC set up, gonna be great. I love that there's bears up here. It's cool terrain to get a bear in. Is that a male? Nope. You never know, males and females do travel together. Looks like in this case it's a whole ton of hens. Do you think the angler could have legendary fish like Red Dead? Uh, I don't know. They seem to be following in like the hunter's uh, scoring and tiering system, so I'm kind of assuming that's not going to be a thing, but you know, we were talking earlier, maybe they'll have great one fish or something like that. I won't lie, I feel like an open world saltwater fishing would be difficult to bring out. How would you do it? Like an archipelago, island with freshwater... Ooh, I like that idea. They should hire you. Island with freshwater lakes is a real good idea. Have you done subscriber hunts? Like once a month you and a subscriber do a hunt together? I used to do those in the Hunter Classic. There's, I mean, there's a bunch of reasons really that I don't really do them anymore. Uh, the first is that even if I did them once a month, like 99% of people get left out. And that sucks. You know, like if I do one subscriber hunt a month, it's going to take me literally forever to, to get to everybody that wants to be in a subscriber hunt. And it sucks to like have people be left out. The other side of it, and honestly, the more difficult side of it is linking up time zones to do that is, or or schedules even is almost impossible like the amount of times that i would when i when we used to do it that i would have like a time set and then you know either like a cancellation or you know i this was so long ago i'm sure it's fine i don't re, i don't remember who or what or anything but like times that you would have to end up waiting on somebody and like i've only got a, a certain window that I can record videos. So yeah, the one thing I do though is a lot of hunting in multiplayer. If you're a fan of the Hunter Classic or if you played Hunter Classic, I stream Classic in multiplayer all the time. So uh, everybody can can join that and usually that's a good time. But as far as like subscriber hunts specifically, I, I don't really think I can do much of that these days. Blonde or Spirit again for that bear. Doing it for the chili? Yes. Subscriber IRL hunts. So that made me think of something that I'll talk about a little bit. I've had over the years of like streaming and stuff, I've had so many offers to hunt with people in different places and like super generous offers. There was a guy that was offering like his Texas range. It was literally just like, it was like 500 bucks to go and shoot a red deer hide, which would have been pretty cool. Um, I feel like he was, I think he said it was literally just that, like he would have taking care of lodging and all that good stuff. Uh, so that would have been neat, but it's always so tough to be like, I don't know what I'm about to get into hunting with somebody like I've never met before. So that can be a little bit tough. Like it's always, I always appreciate it when somebody offers a hunt, but it's, you got to know who you're going with, you know? Are the blonde or spirit bears rare? You'll hear different things um, from different creators. I honestly don't know. In my, God, there's so many white tails. In my experience here so far, I I think they're uncommon, but 
I've heard creators say they're rare. Any big ones? I've been shooting some of these. Just to try to get respawns. Try to, it'd be funny to get a great one on early access, but I don't think any specials have spawned. That, even that, Clark. Um, there was the idea of like a mod meetup hunt or something. And I'm just like, I cannot be responsible for a group of people with guns. I can trust all my mods 100%, but I don't want to be the one in charge. <laughs> Not a good idea. Do you think there's going to be a fish gray one? In the angler? I, th I, I really do think they'll probably do that. I wouldn't be shocked. All the D yeah, I know it's insane up here. That's why I keep glassing because every time I look, there's more walking through the trees or, or going to their zones. Where did the bear go? The bear went somewhere. I think I got there actually. Have I missed anything? Nothing, nothing to speak of really. Actually, you did miss like 40 minutes of tracking a mountain there. That was good times. A ridiculously massive catfish would be cool as a great one. I wouldn't be opposed to it. So that's our second blonde brown bear today. I can pretty confidently say probably those aren't rare. Cool area. Let's go, uh... I don't know. Let's go up into this top corner, actually. I've only been there like once. Oh, yep. Going pro, that's what I wanted. Uh, STPY, thank you for the super chat again. Do we know if the angler will have running water? So, I asked that, or I meant to ask that, at least in the stream. I think I did. Uh, and didn't get an answer. I don't even, it was like at the end of the stream. They were kind of getting wrapped up. But, they said rivers and streams or springs or something I forget their wording how can you do like how would you list multiple bodies of running water on your steam page and then not do it as running water like I, I have high hopes anyway are crowned wildebeest rare yes I'm hunting slow because I want bus and chili it's going to be venison chili, by the way. I don't know if Kyla mentioned that. Yeah. 12 times better than regular chili just because venison. I honestly don't have a clue whose deer it is. The thing, like, we always uh, process our deer at, at Dad's. So, you know, my buck, my doe, Kyla's doe, brother's doe, Dad's like four does or however many he shot. Or no, he killed three does and a buck, I think. He had a killer year. He hasn't, he hasn't had a year where he like had more tags filled to me in forever. So it was pretty cool that he finally like, uh, you know, had a, had a real good year hunting. Cause usually it's just like, he'll pass bucks in archery that he should definitely shoot. Cause he doesn't want to miss rifle season. And this year he finally killed a, an archery buck. So that kind of allowed him to have that good season. Anyway, SDPY, thank you for the super chat again. I certainly appreciate the support. Muse. Your dad is a big male. I gotta say, like, for, uh, for somebody that has a hard time seeing and stuff anymore, he does pretty good. That one looked, that was, oh, what the heck, that's a hazel grouse. I was gonna say, that doesn't look like a normal male, uh, what's it called? Caper Kaylee? It's funny that I was gonna say that before that hazel grouse came out. Literally any time we're doing anything, like if it's some sort of woodworking or... You know, gutting a deer in the dark. First thing my dad says is, I can't see a thing. Every time. So, the fact that he's out here killing deer still at however old he is. 60-something. It's pretty good. I mix my deer with beef, so tacos, lasagna, spaghetti's all 50% deer. We actually, I think we used to do that. Dad uh, is a hobby farmer too, so like, we used to have cattle up until... Was it my junior? No. Yeah, my junior year of high school, we had cows, and that year, I happened to, I, I honestly think, because like, you know, my dad was getting older by that point, so I think he was kind of 
getting to the point where he couldn't keep up with having cattle anymore. So uh, I happened to be squirrel hunting in that area. And I just heard all this racket this one night. This is in archery season. Uh, and suddenly uh, it occurred to me, there were like a ton of deer that had walked behind me. I walked up into the, literally into the cow pasture. And there were like, I don't know, a dozen deer at the apple trees in the cow pasture. So we ended up hunting there that year. I killed a doe in muzzleloader season, a buck in rifle season. And I think my dad got one in the late season. And maybe my brother got one too. Like a bunch of deer got shot in that pasture. And like I said, I think that was kind of a little bit of an excuse to stop having cattle. It was kind of like, all right, this is going to be part of our hunting. And if we can get more deer, then that's going to be our meat. So anyway, uh, I got way off, off topic there. But what we do now, look at that bear resting up there. <laughs> what we do now is uh, generally we'll either get like beef tallow from a um, uh, butcher or what works really good, surprisingly, is bacon. Now it's expensive. Uh, mixing mixing deer meat with bacon is expensive, but it's really good. Is it windy, Kyla? That's unfortunate. No, 100% Elias. I I still don't know max weights and stuff. The only thing I know is like willow ptarmigan are bigger than rock ptarmigan, so I kind of try to remember based on that, like what to sort of look for in tracks. All kinds of stuff up here. I haven't been like on this end. That's neat. His favorite chili ingredient. Rarest animal in the game, a mellow red deer great one. It's hard to say for sure, but it kind of seems like red deer can't be, or red deer great ones rather, can't be rare. Uh, Kubo, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I ruined his beautiful view. It was quite good. Look at that. He's just up here admiring it. Maybe I'm a bad person. I feel like it should snow up here. It almost looks like it does, the way that is rendering, but I also, I've had some issues on this map. I can't tell if it's the amount of birds or what, but on occasion I'll have uh, FPS problems. Like right now it's running at like 130, but I'll get down to like about 61, 62 on high graphics. So maybe on ultra it wouldn't look as weird. Hello, Hazel Grouse. Do you have a male friend? No. No PB&P smoothies either. That's not it. I don't want it. Ugh. Goodness. Gonna ruin my chili appetite. That one looks weird. I think it's just dark gray. Where? I don't know where our bear was. No. Oh, it's right there. Alpino white tail great one's the rarest? In theory, a melanistic white-tailed great one would be the rare, unless you're talking about the rarest thing that's ever been killed. Um, a melanistic white tail is more rare than an albino, so like, rarest theoretical is probably that. Boy, he was all curled up too. Really ruined his day. You do have a male friend. Where? Oh, tiny. And he was kind of flying this way. Is that in range? Sure is. Kyla's ready for the chili. Oh my god, it's 440? I've never had time fly quite like it does on this map. Didn't I shoot something else? Oh, the rabbit. Where was that? It was right in here somewhere, wasn't it? I don't know. The hunting pressure makes it look like it's all here. Yeah, it was. Uh, light gray, in fact. I don't think I've had that one. It almost looked piebald or something. I don't think piebald rabbits exist, but I was hopeful. Lick the spoon for us. Anything good today? Uh, nothing diamond or rare, anyway. Um... We had a mountain hare that was close. Tracked that for a huge chunk of the stream. A couple of decent growls and ptarmigan, but nothing quite there. Time flew faster than the teals. I'll always remember Eurasian teal as a speedy duck species after that diamond on stream. That was the amount of like immediate anxiety 
when that sucker took off and I realized I was not prepared for the speed it was going at, I can't even describe it. Killed a 13 pointer in real life not too long ago. Nice. That's a pretty bird. 709 for them. I'm really struggling to remember the rock charm again. Just over 700. It should be easy. Couldn't believe you hit it. Dude, I was so sure that I messed up immediately. Like, when it took off, I was just like, I've made a horrible mistake. I'm going to look like... Because there were... The chat was maybe not split 50-50, but there were definitely two sides. It was like, just kill it with the 22 so we can see it. Versus like, yeah, kill it with a shotgun. Because it, it's probably the same thing as on Twitch when people make me use like the recurve or whatever. Just like, you know, want to see a, a challenge or whatever it is. And so fast, I, obviously so fast because the duck was fast. I was just like, yep, they're all going to be right. Everyone's going to be like, why didn't you just shoot it? I'm going to look dumb. Like all that flashed in my mind. And then luckily one pellet hit it. Instead of the angler, what if it was the fisherman call the water? I don't hate the idea of something like that. Um, I like the name they went with, too, but it is weird. Like, you know, we're used to the hunter call the wild. Now we have call the wild the angler. Like, the the similarity yet the difference makes it... Like, I, when I'm talking about the angler, because we refer to it as the angler, I often, when I compare things to the hunter... I'll call it Call the Wild, because that's what we've called the Hunter Call the Wild for years. Uh, because Classic is often referred to as just the Hunter, so it's a, it's a weird naming thing that gets difficult to keep up with. Glove of the Fish? I like it. Have we had a diamond today? We have not. We have shot a whole ton of grouse and ptarmigan and rabbits, a couple of uh, big game species brown bear in there, a couple blonde brown bear in fact, but no diamonds. I think we'll leave that. I was kind of hoping this lake was going to be crazy for whitetail as well. It's a little lackluster in comparison. We haven't checked the southern end. Could be some down here. Oh yeah, we're going to do cornbread too. Gluten-free cornbread. I'm doing good, CJ. Been a uh, interesting day trying to, you know, get things prepped. I've got the new PC that I got to get all set up here today. I'm excited to do all that, but there, there's so much stuff, right? Like a lot of you guys know the meat hunters. Um, all that stuff's happening soon, so I got to make sure I have all the content that's got to go on YouTube because we have the TV stuff ready to go, but the YouTube side of things isn't ready. Um, so I got to make sure I get all that stuff off the old PC, all the stuff for thumbnails, all the stuff for streams. You know, it's going to be a process for sure, but I'm excited for that. Oh, I don't know. What do we got? 10 minutes. Let's go here and over. Looking for willow ptarmigan and raccoon dogs mostly. Are we going to do any commercials in the breaks? On YouTube, uh, I, I don't know. Do you mean like our own commercials, or do you mean like are we gonna run an ad uh, during the the breaks? I don't know how we're gonna do that or how to approach it. So like, there's a couple. You you guys have all watched TV, like, and and whether it's outdoor television or other shows, like you get the thing that happens where. You know, say if it's a hunting show, maybe the hunter gets drawn back and then they do the little mat and then it cuts the commercial, right? So we have some of some stuff like that in our show. And then when it comes back from commercial, it replays a bit of that. That looks odd on YouTube if there is no commercial in between. So I don't know whether to cut that off or to just leave it as is. I want to show the full work, like the full 22 and a half minutes. Like, I don't want to cut stuff, but I don't know. It would be weird. Yeah, they're edited for breaks, like like uh, like you figured. We could do our own ad. I'll talk to TK about that. He has his ready to go for Friday. In theory, he can change the... No, he can't. He's leaving for another hunting trip, I think. 
But anyway, I'll ask him. That might be, like, even if it's a, like a 10 second thing, like, hey, don't forget to follow us, do the thing, Instagram, yeet, okay, bye. I'll ask him about that. Uh, what's that shotgun? This is the 16 gauge from Rancho. Smooth perp, thanks for the super chat. I wish they added waterfowl dogs, like retrievers. I wish they would have done the same. Um, maybe we'll see them down the road. You gotta think how much went into this update. Adding, uh, retrievers too would have been a huge, huge deal, but maybe one day. How much is it to build a computer? I've never built one. I just, I end up getting pre-builds. I know generally it's cheaper to build it yourself, but I'm such like a, I don't know. When it comes to technology and stuff, I'm always afraid that I'm going to like mess it up and then cost myself more money. So I usually just prefer to have a professional do it, but uh, PCs are, I think, more affordable than ever. So in theory, the building process would only be even cheaper. Subscribe, like, and subscribe, heathens. There you go. Is it coming out tomorrow on console too? Yes. Speaking of Rancho, I just finished up playing the story. Very short. Also, I realized how much I hate the pheasants. I, you know, the, the Rancho story, it, I felt like I shot like two animals the entire time. It, it was kind of, uh, we streamed it and it was kind of lackluster. It's the reason that I never streamed Mississippi because people told me it was the exact same thing, like a bunch of not shooting things and not a great story. I still haven't done the missions. Is five max difficulty for raccoon dogs? No, nine. Uh, they're like any other predator. It's difficult. I've been mentioning that on stream. I forgot to say it today. It's difficult when you think like raccoons, max of five. Raccoon dogs, max at nine. Are you going to do another lodge tour? Uh, and I love your videos. Well, thank you. Next lodge tour is probably going to be a little bit down the road. I wanted to do it for like end of June. I'm probably going to push that a little further. Try to get some of like the Revan Tuli stuff done uh, and then do a lodge tour. Dude, I don't know what Kyla has seasoned that chili with, but it smells amazing and it's not fair that I have to be stuck up here. You always gotta check, because the ptarmigan look similar enough. Obviously, the rock ptarmigan have a certain diamond score. The willows have a certain diamond score. Gotta make sure what you're shooting at. That's that's uh, the other thing that I heard on that bottom boy. What's the shotgun used in the 16 gauge from Rancho de la Royal? I think it's the best option for this map, really. I know you're coming this way. Where are you? You're dead. That's where. Smells good. It does. I think I did like a good, come on, shoot decent. I did a good chunk of cooking for a long time. Uh, and then Kyla's uh, taken over a bit here lately and I think I made a mistake by ever cooking. She is definitely better than I am. Are they really acid? That's interesting. I have to make sure I get uh, gas for the lawnmower and everything. I actually need gas for the lawnmower, that works out. Pretty sure there's one more somewhere that I missed other than this one. Is hunting more ethical than buying store meat? Ooh, another white one. I like these a lot. I don't know if I've had a willow. I thought they were rock ptarmigans that were white. I don't know. Uh, okay, so. There are store meats that generally, like, the farm that they come from is pretty ethical. But between, like, okay, so I guess here's what I'll say. The... The negative attention that hunting gets in terms of eth ethicality, I think the wrong battle is being fought. Factory farming is so much less ethical than hunting. Because you imagine, like, say for the buck that I shot this past year. It's an extreme example, but we'll go with it. That buck, it was probably six or seven years old. So not only had he peaked in maturity and passed his genetics on for a bunch of years, lived entirely, you know, fence-free for you know, well beyond maturity. Whitetail matured about four years old. 
Um, I don't think it gets much more ethical than that. And by the way, uh, for the sake of it, literally I pulled the trigger and he was dead in probably under five seconds, maybe less than that. He probably never felt it, which is what you want. Uh, factory farming with like some of the awful conditions those animals have to live in and stuff. Like it's, it's not even to me comparable like how much less ethical some of that stuff is. Glad I didn't see what. Hey, look. I killed something with one shot for once. When's the Steve Vernella collab? I wonder if, if my channel could ever reach a point where that would be a thing. I was listening to a podcast on the Exodus, uh, I think it's Exodus Outdoor, their YouTube channel. They had a guy on that sounded just like Steve Vernella, but it wasn't. It was bugging me the entire time, but... Dang it. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Something Michael? I almost want to say it's Steven Michael or something, but I think I'm confusing it because I kept on thinking of Steve Ranella. That is going to bug me that I can't think of what his name is. I just realized, because I want to go down to here. There's a ton of Willow Tarmigan down there. Well, if the game would let me fast travel. Hello? Excuse me. Okay, that was weird. The Tarmigan icon looks like uncanny Mr. Incredible Phase 7. I definitely cannot relate. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know what that is referring to. You just met Steve Renella. That's cool. Did you tell him that I want to <laughs> collab with him? <laughs> just got here. Console release date tomorrow. Uh, probably just over 12 hours, if I had to guess. At the hardware store. That seems like a place you'd meet Steve Renella. I could believe it. Have I got anything good yet? Honestly, nothing really special. Um, lots of, you know, uncommons and, and stuff like that, but uh, no, you know, trophy lodge animal, I guess. Have you got anything good yet? Nothing to speak of? Have you found the big cave yet? I haven't. Uh, max weight bear, you say? At least we need to know the fur type. Depends on where he's going. I don't want to have another half hour tracking debacle like earlier. I mean, he should be very close. There's almost, there's almost nowhere he can go. Exactly, Soup. All right, there's some disturbed veg. Is Mel's gaming your girlfriend? Kyla is my girlfriend. Do you know at what time of day Revan Tuli? Oh, it's a gray. We gotta find that. Uh. Anyway, time of day Revan Tuli releases, usually like early morning Eastern time. Dang, it's a seven. I really wanted that to be a nine. I want a diamond spear bear. I might want a diamond gray just as much. <laughs> Are you included in that bottom boy? What maps are getting a pop reset? I think literally everything but Silver Ridge Peaks. My answer isn't good enough, Sniff. I swear, like I said, I need to get a button of just me answering all the common questions. And then I just hit the button, audio plays, and I like get a drink or whatever. Oh my. I think this map is, this map or Rancho is better for the Whitetail Grind? You know, because I haven't done enough whitetail grinding, I don't know that I can really properly answer that, but I could certainly see this map being better overall. It is really good for whitetail. I don't have a clue where this thing got to. Sir 12 can figure that one out. Have you ever seen an albino deer in real life? I've seen, I think, four albinos and one piebald. Do you need the Geese DLC to get geese on Revan Tuli? If you buy the Revan Tuli DLC, you'll at least get the the water layout lines, and you should get the collars. I don't know if the uh, Canada Goose collar comes with Revan Tuli, and uh, you know that would be relevant given the fact that there are Canada Geese here too. But at least you can have the new geese. Oh God, I didn't mean to hit it. I meant to hit the tree. Uh, I guess we're not going to go and get that. But anyway, yeah, you can have the new goose species. 
Oops. What does a population reset do? It basically just puts a whole new set of animals on your map. Deletes whatever is there, so, you know, I'd recommend running around your favorite map, checking it out tonight, make sure you're not leaving anything. Favorite animal and why? In game? I really like the, uh, the pronghorn and mountain goat models. I think they did a really good job. Basically comes down to that. Look at that. I don't like the sitting animation as much. Maybe it is realistic. It just looks sad. But the grays are really nice. I don't know if they're rare. I haven't seen any others. Just for the heck of it. Delete something. Why did I have saved a gray pheasant? Okay. Save that just in case. Are those rare? Yeah, I don't know because of the, like, uh, changes to fur types and stuff. I think they're still uncommon, but I don't want to risk that. Might be our last kill. If we can hit it. A little ptarmigan. And yeah, at this point, basically that's it for our early access content on Reventuli. Lots of diamonds, lots of rares. No, uh... No such things on today's stream, though. But yeah, once again, I'll repeat it. Reventuli Coast releases tomorrow on all platforms. And uh, I'm excited to, to be watching the Discord and see what kind of trophies get shot. Um, when is the pop reset? That's going to be tomorrow with the Reventuli Coast update. Sometime, you know, early morning-ish EST. But on that note, that is going to do it for this stream. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you tomorrow. Either in a stream or a video, not sure yet. Bye!